welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about hair extensions and I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on these hair extensions. I feel like I've come up with a really efficient way of putting them on and uh, styling them and all of that. So I'm going to share all of that with you today. For now, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. So these extensions are the fullest and thickest ex hair extensions that Luxury for Princess makes. These are 320 grams. They're 22 inches long, so I'll just show you that's how far down they come. This is meant to give you lots and lots of volume. Let me push all the hair forward. So that is all of the clips. For me personally, this is a little bit too much. Um, I like maybe about half of it, but I like that I have the option to get it this full. I think this is definitely something that I would wear for like my birthday, which is actually coming up. So I probably totally will do a get ready with me like with this glam hair. I have them in the color jet black. I had a little bit of dilemma with my color at first. This is my natural color of hair. I don't have any kind of dye in it. So I have naturally black hair, but it's like in between brown and black. And uh, they do have another shade that's called blackest brown or darkest brown or something like that Basically one shade below jet black So I ordered those the first time and you could just see the distinction between my hair and those I feel like the jet black blends in really nicely So that's one tip that I can give you if you're looking into purchasing your first pair of hair extensions and You're kind of in between colors I definitely suggest going a shade darker because it looks more natural to have your hair fade into a darker color at the bottom at least that's, in my, that's my opinion and that's what I found through this trial and error. They are 100% a Remy hair, which means they are real. They curl like real hair. You can wash them like real hair. You can also dye these the very first time, like I mentioned, I ordered the wrong color. I just went to Walgreens or CVS and picked up a box of hair dye and I dyed them myself at home. I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to put all of these clips in so you can get an idea. I figured I'd first show you what they look like straight out of the package. It's gonna have two sections. It's gonna have the main extensions and then it's gonna have a small strand that says tester on it. This is what you wanna try out on your hair first to make sure that it matches you. You don't wanna open the main package and then find out that it doesn't match you and have to send them back because they won't accept them. It's unsanitary. I mean, come on, would you guys want <laughs> open extensions? This is pretty cool. Um, they started making this little like holder for the extension. It comes with a little bag to store your extensions in them and it makes it really good for travel but what I really like is this little hanger thing because it makes it so much easier to curl my extensions I just clamp them on I also treat my extensions just like as if they were real hair I protect them with heat protectant I comb it through and then I curl my extensions individually for my hair I don't like to curl my extensions and my hair together because I feel like my hair needs a lower temperature of heat than the extensions do and I don't want to burn my actual hair. And then once my extensions are curled, I set those aside and I start to curl my own hair. Once my hair is curled, I start sectioning it off and applying the extensions one section at a time. So I start at the very bottom of my neck and I start with the smallest clip, so the two clip, and then I start to gradually add the rest of the extensions. As I continue to go up, I add the larger ones, and once I get to the center of my head, I add the one with the most clips, and I actually double the clips on that section because I feel like the weight can be handled a little bit better on that section. And as I continue that midpoint, the extensions are gonna start to get smaller, so I'll start to add the ones with the less amount of clips. And once I get to the crown in my head, I like to use the one with three clips. I love that this set includes these one individual ones because I always have like this space right here that is always like a little bit flat. So now I can just add that one individual there and then I just kind of look around to see what else needs a little bit of fullness and I'll add that other clip right there. So, and once I have all my extensions in, I'll go back in with my curling wand and if I have any curls that fell out or anything that needs to be blended a little bit better, then I'll just take the curling wand and redo that section. And then I just add some shine spray, hairspray, whatever I'm feeling in that day. Usually I just do shine spray. I've been using Luxury for Princess since I started my YouTube channel which is a year and a half and I love them. I don't have any complaints. You only wear them for a couple hours so it's not like your actual oils are going into them so I don't feel like you have to wash them as much as you do your normal hair. Maybe just get rid of a little bit of product but other than that like they're super low maintenance. They're definitely more low maintenance than my real hair and they're super shiny straight out of the bag. I've never had a problem with them blending into my hair but I know some people if you have like a really specific haircut you can always take your extensions into your hairstyle 
stylist and have them blend it in for you. I know a lot of girls do that. I love them. I remember before I got my first pair of extensions, I always wanted them not even for length because I've had pretty long hair my whole life, but I just never had really thick, luscious, voluptuous looking hair. And these definitely give me that. And I love them so, 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 so much. If you guys are interested in the same extensions that I wear, I will leave the link down below to their website. So I hope you guys found this review slash demo helpful. I know a ton of you have been requesting this extensions video. I'm so sorry it took me so long. That is all I have to say. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.